In this module, you will understand some concepts that will help you to figure out not only how, but also what do you need to create families in Revit. The Revit model can be created and used for multiple purposes. Sometimes we must have separate models for some specific uses. For example, the model for architectural documentation does not suit for energy analysis. That will be much more efficient with a simpler model. So, what are the options we have at the first glance for MEP fittings? Remember, other components will have different uses and needs, so other demands will take place. The following concepts relates to the number of dimensions considered when preparing the model. The model is in 3D and it serves the following main uses. Clash detection, in our case the most relevant. The components should reflect real ones, sometimes a manufacturer should be chosen. Project visualization is another nice plus, making communication with others much simpler and clearer. Choosing materials that deliver a real feeling of the model will also help. These uses can be done in Revit and in another application as well. The fourth dimension creates a relationship between the model and time. Usually done outside of Revit, you have to understand the need of others. Usually location information may be enough. The weight and volume of the components can be an interesting asset for planning. The fifth dimension is cost. To achieve this, you use a nice feature from Revit, schedules of quantities. How will you organize your quantities and which amount of information about subcomponents is important. You will not model bolts and nuts, but you can include them in quantity schedules as information or as items. Sometimes the regular count parameter from Revit may not suit for your use. For example, you want to count pipe bars and Revit supplies pipe lengths. You will have to do calculations within the schedule to achieve your goal. The sixth dimension is to provide information to the facilities management. It's a little tricky, since you cannot be 100% sure that the component you model will be the one used to build, and the facilities management will be done on other platforms. I suggest that the data you may input serve as a guidance for the contractor. Manufacturer, model, data sheets in PDF format, image can be some assets for this use. On the other hand, that kind of information may help others to understand the demands of your project. For example, the weight and size of a transformer can help the structure engineer to use the transformer load. Being able to anticipate the model demands will be a nice investment. It will take a little more time in the beginning, but it may save a lot of hours later. Sometimes having only placeholder parameters may be enough. Just don't overdo it. Can you skip this part? If you have absolutely no plans or demands to do Bing projects, it may be okay, but I won't encourage you to do so. When you research to collect component sizes, the other pieces of information may be a click away. After this video, you know how to select the information you need before you start to create your families. The wise of the new demands of Ben. See you in the next video.